In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to dial in your dryer settings using a thermocouple instrument and screen printer's temperature probe, also known as a donut probe. Properly curing printed garments is one of the most important steps in the production process to ensure a durable ink film that will look great after multiple washes. A screen print kit is available, which includes a thermocouple instrument with a digital display and a donut probe with a 15-foot cord capable of reading a max temperature of 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 205 degrees Celsius. If you have a longer dryer than 15 feet, an extension is available for purchase. The advantage of using a donut probe over other temperature readers, for example infrared thermometers or heat strips, is the ability to read the actual ink film temperature throughout the heating chamber instead of just one surface reading. For this test, we are focusing on plastic salt ink. However, this will work with any type of ink. To test the temperature of the ink film, we are going to set the dryer temperature 10 to 20 degrees higher than the target ink temperature required. The Plastisol ink we are using has a recommended cure temperature of 320 degrees Fahrenheit, so we'll start by setting the dryer to 340 degrees Fahrenheit. This is just a starting point and will be adjusted based on results. For belt speed, we want the garment to be in the chamber as long as possible to ensure a good cure without excessive heat. So for Plastisol ink, start with at least one minute or a minute 30 to two minutes for water-based inks. Dryer belt speed is often determined by the size of the dryer chamber combined with the volume of garments being fed through, so try to have as long a dwell time as possible. Next, we are going to print white Plastisol ink on 100% black cotton fabric. Print flash printing to ensure a good ink deposit. Plug the donut probe into the thermocouple instrument, turn it on, and set the temperature reading to Fahrenheit or Celsius. Place the donut, white disc, with crosshairs facing down, directly on the wet ink, and press the crosshairs into the ink film. Pressing the crosshairs into the ink enables you to read the temperature of the ink film down to the shirt. Let the printed garment and donut pass through the dryer while holding the thermocouple instrument and monitor the temperature. For Plastisol ink, you want to not just reach the target temperature, but also remain at or above that temperature for 5 to 7 seconds. When the probe reaches the end of the chamber and the temperature begins to drop, unplug the probe and let the cord pass through the dryer. If your thermocouple reading is lower than the target ink temperature, you can increase the dryer temperature or slow down the belt to give the ink more time to reach the target temperature. Once you have the settings dialed in, you can run this same test on 100% polyester, fleece, blends, or any other fabrics or inks you print often. Polyester and polycotton blends contain less moisture than 100% cotton and will heat up much faster in the dryer, allowing you to lower the temperature. Document all of the results and post the setting on or near the dryer for daily reference. Now that we have the ideal settings for curing the ink, we can check the consistency of the dryer chamber by testing the ambient temperature. This procedure is not recommended for an infrared dryer as they do not heat the air. Plug the donut probe into the thermocouple instrument, turn it on, and set the temperature reading to Fahrenheit or Celsius. Next, place the donut white disc on the dryer belt with the metal crosshair wires up, as facing down will read the belt temperature. Allow the probe to pass through the dryer while holding the thermocouple instrument and record the temperature in 5 second increments. This should be done on the left, right, and center of the conveyor belt to determine if the dryer is heating consistently. Document the results and save them for future reference. This test can be performed as a daily maintenance procedure to ensure the dryer is functioning properly and heating consistently. For more helpful tips and insights to help you press onward, please visit rock.us or call 1-87-ROCKET-NOW. That's 877-674-8669. Thank you for the opportunity to be your partner in print.